So hi guys, uh, today I will do a quick review um, on two holsters I was provided by Falco Holsters um, with the help of the European Bodyguard and Security Alliance. Um, they provided me with two holsters. Um, Falco Holsters is a company from the Slovak Republic. Um, they're, they're in the business since uh, 19... 89 I guess um, Yeah, and they're doing all kinds of holsters and they provided me with two of these I had to choose them on their website It's a really interesting. It's a really big website. They have lots of lots of models um, Different types in leather like these two uh, kydex uh, all kinds of uh, of materials um, some hybrid uh, holsters um, Kydex and, and uh, leather. Yeah, um, I decided uh, to get two leather holsters because um, I already got some nylon and uh, Kydex holsters. So I choose uh, these two um, leather holsters. So, um, first of all, let's talk about um, the appearance, uh, the, the build quality, and everything you can see right here. So it's some really nice and thick leather. Um, it's really well made. Pretty well soon. It's uh, meticulously made. Really, pr uh, very precious. Soon and um, fitted. You have the contours of the uh, of the pistol here, and the pistols f uh, really fit well in these holsters. So I choose the models for my Glock uh, 19 Gen 5. Um, first of all, let's have a look, a little uh, safety check. So nothing in. Let's keep it here. The Mac. So I already also have a dummy gun. It's in uh, Glock 17. It's Gen 4. And um, another training gun. It's an airsoft gun. Uh, it's a Glock. Uh, 19x so which has the uh, slide length of the Glock 19 and the handle of the Glock 17 okay so I will take my gun and I fit it in both holsters so this is a quick draw holster um, which I choose for training purposes um, you can have all different a lot of different vari variations on these. Um, I choose some with uh, also some lining inside. That's some leather lining inside. It's uh, uh, mm, so this is plain leather and this is uh, structured. It's uh, yeah. Um, so I choose it because I, I wanted a little bit more. Um, yeah, robustness uh, and security to the to the guns, and uh, I didn't want too much abrasion on the leather, so I choose to uh, to use a feeding inside a, a liner. So um, this is a quick draw holster, a level level one retention holster. It has this big belt loop, um, which is pretty well for competition belts. Um, I'm not a, I'm not that big a fan of of these kind of loops. Um, I had to I had the the option to choose different uh, uh, kinds of belt uh, loops. Um, I also could take some Kydex uh, uh, or tech locks or pedal holsters and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But I wasn't really into the website, so I didn't took too much attention and bought this model. Um, the only reason I don't like it is because I'm not wearing a competition belt that's, that often. Usually I'm just wearing my yeah, a leather belt just like this or a rigas belt or whatever you want to call it, some, some, some kind of a rigas belt. Um, an EDC one with a plastic buckle um, that's what I'm usually wearing, and um, yeah, if I just take it on this belt, it's a little loose. 
So you can see if I put it here and here it's it's a little bit loose. Yeah. You have to put it on the, the big competition belts and then this would fit great. This would probably be the right uh, choice for competition belts. Um, yeah, so this is my only problem with this belt loop. I didn't choose the right one, it was my fault. Um, yeah. So, for a quick draw holster, let's have a look, you can fit it in. Um, you can loosen the screws here a little bit. Um, but then you also loosen your retention, you don't have that good retention then. So the lining here um, delivers friction to the gun, as you can see. This is, it delivers a little friction. I also didn't take the time to break it in. I'm just using it a couple of times because uh, due to pandemic and COVID and all that stuff, um, I didn't have the time to go that much on the range. And this is where... I usually uh, usually would use a quick draw holster. Um, so uh, on on the website from Falco, they um, give some advice uh, to fit your holster better to your gun. Um, they have a, have an, a manual there where you can yeah where they describe how you can fit it more uh, uh, snug to your gun. Um, where you use some alcohol pads and then you break it in here on this part and then you put some plastic on your gun and fit it in and keep it there overnight to let the alcohol dry out and then you put it out and you have a perfect fit to your to your gun. Um, I didn't uh, took the time to do that right now or till yet because I didn't have alcohol inside uh, that was uh, um, usable for, for that kind of task. Um, so I still have to do it to fit it better. Um, I have to use it a little more to break it in because in direct comparison, um, to a Kydex or a nylon holster, it's not that quick. Okay. You're, you're, you're quicker with a nylon, but you have a little retention, especially if you come in from up in the competition, you put here, okay, right now it fits pretty well, well, sorry. Um, Maybe it has break in a little better now. The last time I used it, it didn't uh, work that well. Yeah, but it also might uh, depend on which gun I use. Yeah, for um, while the pandemic, I'm I'm doing a lot of home training, and I'm often using this gun. Okay, now this fits also good right now. I don't know what happening, but this is really good and. Uh, that's what a quick draw, draw holster is supposed to do, to deliver a quick draw with the gun. Okay. Um, later on, I will take a few other pictures where I'm going to draw the gun um, from a belt. And then uh, we'll see if it works uh, also that way. And um, yeah. So, again, really well made, really well so soon. Um, yeah, I really like these holsters. Um, for me, the option le or the, the the choice leather or, or Kydex, it's it's a personal choice. I have or I had Kydex before, um, but I'm just a leather guy. I like leather. It feels good. It smells good. It, yeah, it gives a nice haptic feedback, and um, I like that. Also, it's much more comfortable comfortable wearing it. Um, all day long, um, especially in the summertime. Of course, also with leather, you, it's a little sweaty. It's not that uh, brazable material, but um, contrary to Kydex or other, it's, it's it's much better, much more comfortable. Comfortable. It it, it, it uh, breaks in. It, it uh, fits to your body. It's it's so much more comfortable than than Kydex. Um, the other uh, the other uh, um, thing I like it over Kydex, it's it's all it's it's, uh, it's in, in my opinion, if it's a good made leather leather holster, it's also a pretty rugged uh, solution, especially if you um, drop on your holster or or 
when you're when you're in, in, in on duty and you get attacked and somebody's tackling you, you're going to the ground or somebody is kicking you or whatever. Um, so it's not that easy to break nylon or kydex, but but it does happen. It can happen. Um, it doesn't uh, happen to me right now, but um, I heard from other guys uh, stories about it happen. Okay, so this is also um, something I would give uh, over for leather over kydex. Um, yeah. I guess for duty it's it's a better option for all day long wearing for concealed carry for for your duty this is a better option um i would try this a little longer um on the range i would try it out i would try it in in, in comparison to to the kydex as far as from now i prefer the kydex it, it feels that it's quicker it's, it's a quicker draw than from a leather holster yeah, because this material, this is here, it's it's uh, it sticks a little to the guns. Um, I have to try this out a little more on the on the range, and uh, uh, compare the times to the Kydex holsters, and then I will give it a, give a final verdict on this for for a competition, uh, a training, uh, a practice holster for quick drawing. Okay. So this was the first holster. This was just for training, for, for, for practice and stuff like this. So the next holster I choose is uh, uh, same nice craftsmanship and build quality. Um, same attention to details. Um, they also engraved my uh, initials here. Insignia, it's T and S, and uh, yes, uh, great. Here's the Falco logo, you can see it there. Um, this is a level 2 retention holster, it has a sump break. So you put your gun in. And this is this is the choice for, for a duty holster for me. Yeah. Um, really comfortable on the belt. Um, has a pretty good retention. Um, especially in comparison to some drive uh, from from Blackhawk or 511 I also own these and um, the this is much smoother the thumb brake here is much smoother okay I also didn't break in this holster right now um, so it also has a little bit work to go but still it's it's good. You can see it's really good retention. Yeah. And if you pull it and then it's it's yeah. It's really good. So it's much more comfortable and easier to break these than the 511 or Blackhawk models. It's much faster. I really like it. I really like it. If I come here, I can easily break it and easily pull it out. This is really a great action for uh for a sump break, really well made. I really like it. This is really a classic. Uh, uh, it's a class of its own for a duty holster. 